everybody's all about these new pretzel, chocolate dip pretzel things. Big long rods. No, that's not <laughs> pretzel rods. No, big pretzel long sticks. <laughs> You can't say that. Everybody's into these pretzel dipped caramel, different colors, all these things. They buy them from all these stores. Well, I think it'd be fun to make them from scratch. So that's what we're doing today. So to start off this recipe, it is a very easy dough. Pretzels are easy, but they are just a long process. So you've gotta be, uh, should I address the fact that there's Christmas stuff behind me? Well, it's not a Christmas recipe so much as it's around the Christmas season and I didn't want to take these down, but this is not necessarily a Christmas recipe. Are we on the same page? I just wanted to make that perfectly clear. Where was I? Pretzels, very easy dough, take a little bit of time, but it's pretty simple, so let's do it. In my bowl here, I've got my flour already measured. I'm gonna pop it in. Gonna mix that with a little bit of salt, brown sugar, and my yeast. Kind of give that a mix with my fingers. Then I like to add in my warm water, and I kind of just mix as I go to create kind of a rough dough. Beautiful. Now I want to get that out onto a lightly floured surface and I'm going to knead that until it comes together. It's a bit of a tougher dough I find. Add more flour if you need it. We want to form it into a ball kind of just like that. Now this has to rise for an hour so it's going to go into a grease bowl in a nice warm place for one hour. Two hours. Until it's doubled in size. I should not be responsible for writing recipes. And yet here we are. Alright, so we have dough that is doubled in size. Check this out. Now, I want to make 48 pretzel rods. So I use this scale here, and I like measuring the full dough beforehand. So you can see we have got 634 grams. Perfect, so if I use my handy dandy calculator, 13.2, okay. That's what we want each pretzel rod to be. So I take a little cutter, cut off a bit, measure it, bang, bang, boom, give it a roll, and I'm gonna lay them all on my baking sheets. Beautiful, so these are gonna rise one more time for half an hour. Perfect, so while those are rising for the second time, I wanna work on the poaching liquid. Now, the thing about pretzels is, pre pretzels, pre pretzels. <laughs> thing about these things are that if you don't boil them, uh, you don't get that nice chewy texture that everyone expects when you bite into a pretzel. Also, if you don't use the baking soda, you don't get that kind of iconic browned exterior. So, these are very important. I've got my water already in a pot, and I wanna add my brown sugar to it, that's for flavoring, and half a cup of baking soda. Gonna give this all a stir. All right, so we are gonna get this on a nice simmer and we're gonna boil each pretzel stick for 15 seconds. Then they're going on a baking sheet, they're gonna get brushed with an egg wash and sprinkled with some coarse salt, and then those go in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes at 375. Okay, and just like that, we have ourselves some pretzel sticks. And you could eat them just like that or put them in a cheese dip, serve them at a party, but I like to make them more decadent. So we're gonna take a couple and we're gonna jazz them up here. So I'm gonna start by making a salted caramel. So what I've done is taken some caramel candies and I melted them with a little bit of whipping cream and that gave us this wonderful elixir. So I just wanna dip it straight into our caramel and I just wiggle off the excess. Okay, so our caramel one is done. I'm gonna lay it down and then I've got a little bit of salt because that's our salted caramel flavor, just dusting it over top. So that one's done, now let me show you the chocolate one. I've got some melted dark chocolate and we are gonna dip our pretzel stick in. Again, wiggle it off and place it on our parchment paper. Then I've got some melted white chocolate and I just put it in a little Ziploc bag like this. I like to cut the end, just a nice fine end, and then I kind of give it a decoration. Beautiful, and that's it. How fun is that? I'm gonna dig right in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.